So whenever you bring in shape onto Tinkercad right here, what you can do is you can adjust its properties. So on the top right hand side, you can see the properties area. And here, what you can do is you can increase the radius of the shape right here. So you can see that as I increase the radius, it makes the edges more blunt. If you were to zoom in, you see a bit of steps right here. So there's 10 bit of faces going on right here. If I were to decrease this out, you can see that it turns more into this less shape, uh, like straight up shape right here. If I were to increase the steps, it add on details. But depending on like whether you want to make it heavy or not, you might want to be lim uh, limiting how much steps you add in there. So if you're actually showing your audience only this area, then maybe you want to keep the steps a bit uh, less so that it does not take up a lot of processing power while the 3D model is being loaded. You can increase and decrease the length, the width and the height as well from the properties panel as well. Similarly, depending on what shapes you choose, the properties panel differs. For example, if I were to bring in the cylinder, you can see that there are sides now. You can increase and decrease the sides right here. There's bevel right here. There's the segments that you can add to the bevel. For spear, there's the steps. So you can increase and decrease the number of faces. For cone, if you were to see it, there's the top radius. There's the base radius. There's the height and the sides, as you can see right here. So similarly, depending on the object you bring, you can increase and decrease different options inside of it to give it the look you want. And that is how you can work around with the shape properties inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>